The RTX 4090 has just been revealed and well, I've got one right here. And yes, we've got big plans for covering this one. Performance is on another level, gen on gen, one of the biggest leaps we've seen. So high refresh rate, 4K gaming, and so by extension, even 8K at 60 FPS and higher. It's all on the table with this new hardware. But we're gonna be reporting soon on how this new silicon combines with the latest rendition of DLSS to make even the most punishing of gaming workloads run at very high performance levels. So what you've been seeing play out here is 4K 120 FPS capture we took from a preview build of CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077. Settings ramped up, ray tracing at max, psycho settings. Now, there isn't a full speed 120 FPS video streaming system out there right now. So you're seeing it at 50% slow motion and it's captured entirely on RTX 4090 with DLSS 3 enabled. In our upcoming content, I'll be taking a closer look at DLSS 3, examining how NVIDIA's new machine learning based AI generation system works. I'll be looking at 120 FPS frame generation and how it compares to 60 FPS rendering. And I'll also be comparing the quality to offline frame interpolation software using existing tools. We've got some high quality capture here, so we'll be able to see the details, quality, and limitations of these new techniques. But ultimately, it's all about smoother, higher frame rate games. But just what kind of multipliers should we be expecting? Using the Cyberpunk 2077 preview build, we can easily compare performance in like-for-like -like areas on the same settings, stacking up 4K native rendering against DLSS 2 and also against DLSS 3 frame generation. Now, to be clear, our coverage is going to be a first look preview, not a deep dive review. So don't go into this one expecting frame rate numbers that arrive in due course but you will be getting some hint of gen on gen scaling using the best silicon of the last generation running DLSS 2 stacked up against the same content running on 1490 with DLSS 3. You've already seen some numbers here, but there's much more analysis to come. Look out for our report on RTX 1490 and the new DLSS coming soon.